the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. The Federalists and Anti-Federalists argued about having a Bill of Rights in the Constitution when it was ratified. This was an agreement by the both parties to actually add the Bill of Rights right after the Constitution was ratified. The First Amendment is the right of Congress shall make no law uh, against the freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of assembly, or you have the right to petition government. The Second Amendment is uh, the right to bear arms. The third is no quartering troops in homes. The fourth is illegal search and seizure. The fifth is the right not to incriminate yourself and the right to a trial and grand jury. The sixth is um, right to a free, speedy, fair public trial. Seventh is right to a jury trial in crim civil cases over $20. The eighth is no cruel or unusual punishment, no excessive bail or fines. The ninth is this is not an exhaustive list. There might be other rights that are not included here. The tenth is if the uh, if the law or if the item is not delegated to Congress and if it's not uh, denied to the states, it is reserved, the right is reserved to the states and or to the people. Now we're going to go over each of these Bill of Rights um, in detail. Um, the Supreme Court has made its impact on the rights. Um, Congress has passed laws based on some of these things, so they've changed a lot in the couple hundred years. Um, and some of these um, amendments have more than one or two rights. They might have five or six, especially like the Fifth Amendment. It has eminent domain, grand jury, right to a jury trial. It has quite a few things in it. Also, um, the Supreme Court has limited your rights, basically. They're not unlimited, where you don't have the unlimited uh, freedom of speech because you can't yell fire in a uh, movie theater. You can't marry uh, five or six or seven people. Uh, so polygamy is outlawed. So they're not universal, uh, unlimited rights, and we're going to go over each of them, and many of the rights do conflict with each other's. So this is just a short listing of the Bill of Rights, and you're going to have to know them in detail, and we'll be discussing these in class.